Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now before I begin, I just need to clear some things up really quickly. First of all, your boy got a new hairdo. Ooh. Ooh. Second of all, I already went ahead and color corrected, which is why I'm looking super hairless. Living for that, yes. Third of all, today you guys better get ready because we're going to do the golden goddess. Oh, that's right. So let's get into it. Amazing. Okay, so for those who don't know, the golden goddess is like an alter ego. I kind of invented it when I did a makeup look on my friend who was like the first person I ever did makeup on for like the first time and I just called her a golden goddess all day and she started acting like one so I realized whoa that's a thing and it's my thing so and it is what it kind of sounds like which is golden bronze very well contoured and again with, when it's like on you and everything you just become the golden goddess which is why I say it's an alter ego the golden goddess has gotten me into many situations I should not have been in she she don't she's not quiet if you say shit she comes out yes yeah, so I'm the mix basically my <laughs> Clinique foundation which is a bit dark so in order to avoid black fishing because that's just not on brand for me it's not i'm gonna mix it with the wet and wild and kind of try to get a shade that's more um less scandalous i think what i want to do now is just move on to my brows for those who don't know i just grab whatever products i just i'm gonna use the darker shade of my essence contouring duo palette I'm eating pan with this one because this is the lightest and it's for me, but literally I'm going to use this. And I'm just going to take this little one. Oh my god, it's like an angle. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to just start by the tail, you know what I mean? So I just did my brows, I'm just going to take the wet and wild, put it on here as I normally would. And then I'll just clean it up and with whatever leftovers, put that on my lid as well. But, yeah, you guys know how this goes at this point, but I'll just show you. Again, take Beauty Blender and clean that up. Just the lid. I just pat the lid because I don't want to smudge the foundation into the brow so I keep a good distance. I kind of low-key like it when it sets so we're gonna just do that. So I'm just gonna take my Yardley setting powder. I'm just gonna do that. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna take my LA Gay. Oh, LA Gay. I'm just gonna open this because I still have some of that essence foundation powder in the dark shade you i hate family group chats they can never be quiet i'm just using the essence foundation powder in this like really dark brown orangey shade and i love it for bronzer so i'm just gonna use that as well so it has more of an orange look and i really want an orangey look i saw this look like a look that's like inspiring me from this youtuber and he did like a whole little 60s, 50s type of eye look that like actresses like Sophia Loren did a lot, like really cute, very glamorous Hollywood type of vibe. So I'm going to do that almost. I'm just saying Sophia Loren is so beautiful. She was so beautiful. I think she's dead. I think she's dead. But like, oh, she inspires me when it comes to makeup, honestly. So beautiful. I literally watched, because USTV plays Pride and Prejudice on 108. I think the channel's called Sundance. They play like a lot of old Hollywood movies. And her movie was Pride, of the Pre Pride and the Prejudice. I actually watched a, a bit of it, but then I got bored. Then we're going to take... My Wet in Wild Nude Awakening, I know I need a, a new palette to be obsessed with. Leave me alone. 
and we're just gonna gonna sculpt out a crease and then yeah or well, actually let's just do the cat line first there's like a a cat line that this guy did so I'm gonna start here again I'm not good at cat like eyeliner and stuff so I'm gonna start here I'm kind of lift it already Ooh, I messed up already. Snap. Okay. Okay, also, I haven't eaten all day. I only ate our chocolate this morning, so I have chili. So, on my table, and I'm eating that. So, if I chew my mouth open, it's because I get really excited when I eat. And I forget to breathe, so. We're just going to have to deal with it. Mm hmm I'm going to spray this. So, the back can be a lot more jellyish or liquidy. Maybe I'll be more precise, or precise, I don't know the word. I don't do eyeliner, I'm sorry. Okay, so I kind of did it. I just cleaned it up a little because damn, that was difficult. Now what we do next is we kind of make a little dark crease. That's very exaggerated, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna use this brush and I'm gonna take it in the black. <sighs> oh, this could make or break the look. Hold on, I'm nervous. Hold on, I need to I need to check the the inspo quickly. So I just saw what he did. Mm. Oh, by the way, um, I'm getting inspo from Painted by Spencer, his YouTube channel. I don't like it. Um, oh my gosh, so these thoughts they don't connect at family group chats are the worst. The two blacks don't connect. It's just a rough draft. To what I think I want. And then it kind of just Fs off, you know what I mean? Like, like, bye. Yeah, okay, let's just add more emphasis to like the center, so like over here and here, like this, where we need that dark. It's just here yeah, that doesn't work. So I'm gonna honestly just do this, which by the way, I did spray the black with the essence, so that's a bit more pigmented. I just wanna kind of That was my YouTube because I'm literally on his. Oh, that looks cute. Hold on. I want it a little more lifted here. That's cute. Okay, let's do the next one. First of all, man, it looks like an art project because I literally. I, I've been painting. I literally dip it and then I take whatever product off and I. So the side eyes looking. I'm sorry, but this is cute. I think what I want to do now is just kind of. Definitely add the brown to the brow bone, even. Oh, where's my hand sanitizer? Oh. What I want to do now is kind of clean it up a little. I'm just going to take like that. Just like here, even. Round it out a little bit more. And literally just put it wherever we applied the concealer. I just applied my concealer and shit and I low-key just want to like say forget the golden goddess and let's just grab a teal and make this a Cleopatra type of look I literally do but no I'm loyal so we're just gonna set this and then we're gonna do whatever but I'm, for my under eye I really want it to look really clean I'm gonna take the little, I don't know what this is called. Just like that. Maybe take it like this. And just do that. I'm just taking it and I like the way it kind of sets the face perfectly almost. So basically, I thought I was recording me doing my contour and things, and I wasn't. So that's fun, and I literally had like a whole meaningful conversation. 
but we're just gonna ignore that it happened. Like, I was saying real shit, like, I was being intelligent and all. And then I realised I wasn't recording. So, I can't do it now, I'm gonna do my nose. I'm gonna do a little bit more on the forehead, and then I'm gonna do my lips, and I'll be right back. Ever, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna colour in my lips with this. I'm just gonna do that. Watch me. I can see something's happening. So it looks like a new lipstick on us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This will make a difference. Just the top. Just feel a little more noticeable. Yes. Take whatever leftovers on this from the black from my eyeshadow and put it on. Make sure it's just dab a little more. Beauty spot moment. Uh, I'm going to take some of the brown and just do a little bit underneath. And then we'll take the black. Because, damn. And we're literally going to put it in my eye. Oh, you can see that. Oh my goodness, wait. It's there, just midway. Oh, oh my goodness. Yo. That looks cute. This does need a, a little feline thingy moment, you know? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Why? What? Just a vibe. Oh, okay. I'm taking the Glotoscope by Catrice Cosmetics Highlight uh, Palette and I'm going to take the golden shade, obviously. I'm going to take it with this and I'm just going to kind of do an outline. That much of a difference? Hmm. I mean. It is a difference, but like, not that much of a difference, you know what I mean? Still cute though, still cute. Smashbox 3D highlighter palette. I'm gonna take the highlighter brush. I'm gonna take flush. Let's see, do we? Yeah, flush definitely. I'm just gonna take it like that. You know? Put it on the cheekbone. Definitely want to take it on the elbow. Mm -hmm. This, I'm just going to take an air to my brow bone. Now. No blush. It's kind of obvious. We're not adding blush. Voila. So I just did my lashes. I did my brows. I touched up on my lips. And now we're going to set the face. Uh, don't at me. So. Let's get to the outro. Okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I hope you guys learnt something. Or you enjoyed it. Or you're going to try it out for yourself. I... I'm obsessed with this. I'm in love with this. Such an artsy little cute look. So obsessed. Oh my goodness. Kind of upset that I can't go out and show it off. But oh well. We'll move on. If you guys want to check me out on my makeup journey. You can go to my Instagram at facebyjoshua. For my personal life journey that you might want to check out. It's on Instagram at joshuadidrix underscore. You can check me out on TikTok since it doesn't seem to like. It doesn't seem like it's going to be going anyway, so you can check me out there at Joshua Didrix underscore. I post voiceover videos, like those cute little humor videos, because I can't do the dance of the film. Um, you can check me out on Twitter at Joshua Didrick 5 Yeah. 
Facebook. Mm. No. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys had fun. Stay safe and stay fabulous. Wow!